maternal mortality ratio is over 800 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births, with approximately 58,000 maternal deaths. To reduce the statistics, the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ebijo Kesawolu, has flagged off a pilot program known as Infant Mother and Child, MICH, which seeks to provide nutritional food supplement for 2,200 vulnerable and underprivileged women in 11 local government and local development council areas across the state. This is our focus today on community feedback. My name is Yewandi Mumuni. You're welcome. It's still community feedback on Lagos Television. Thanks for staying tuned. The Mother, Infant and Child Initiative flagged off at the Bobobayeko Local Development Council area in the Asian town of Ikorodu by the First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Edija Kessohulu. According to her, it's to provide nutritional support for indigenous pregnant women to achieve the sustainable development goals on reducing neonatal and maternal mortality rates in Lagos. As well as fulfilling the government's agenda of providing affordable, qualitative, accessible healthcare delivery through the primary healthcare facility, the wife of the governor was represented by Mrs. Fumilayo Omotosho, details in this report. <music> A popular maxim says, health is wealth, underscoring the saying that one of the hallmarks of a caring government is to safeguard the lives of the people, particularly the most vulnerable in the society. Mothers and children often fall into this category. As a forward-thinking government, the Sawolu administration in Lagos says it will continue to ensure that issues relating to maternal, child and newborn health take the front burner. In view of this promise, the Mother, Infant and Child, known as Mitch Pilot Program, which seeks to provide nutritional foods and supplements for 2,200 indigent pregnant women in 11 local governments and local council development areas across the state, has commenced. Flagging of the initiative at Igbobo Bayeku Local Council Development Area, Ikorodu, the wife of the governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu, represented by Mrs. Fumilayo Omotosho, noted that the role of women in the socio-economic development of any nation cannot be overemphasized. Hence, a proactive government will take issues relating to women and children's health very seriously. Dr. Sonwolu added that the state government, guided by the Sustainable Development Goals on reducing neonatal and maternal mortality, is promoting child and maternal health care as a pivotal component of the state's development agenda. The wife of the governor said health care features prominently as one of the pillars of the theme's agenda of the present administration, which is why emphasis is placed on the provision of affordable, qualitative, and accessible health care and improvement of primary health care facilities in the 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas in the state for all citizens, irrespective of their locations or status. According to the Special Advisor, Office of Civic Engagement, Princess Adiremi Adibowale, the MITCH program is a component of the Womb to School Initiative. She added that the project is a basket of social services initiated by the Office of Civic Engagement with the aim of supporting the development of socially responsible citizens from the womb through infancy, childhood, youth, and into adulthood. Princess Adebowale said 5,000 underprivileged pregnant women would be strictly selected by doctors and specialists in each primary health care centers across the state to access the meat food parks, which contain recommended daily nutritional composition of protein, carbohydrate, lactose, milk fat, fiber, vitamins A, C, D3, E, B1, B2, B6, B12, calcium, and folic acid. Furthermore, beneficiaries would get a meat food collection card, which would be used to monitor the distribution of the food items and ensure adequate care is provided to them on a weekly basis at Ikeja, Badagri, Ekbe, Ikorodu, Agege, Lagos Island, Etiosa, Alimosho, Shomolu, 
Koshofe and Ibeju flagship health centers. Selected pregnant women would receive qualitative health care and follow up through home visits by a dedicated team of public and state approved private community health workers and medical consultants. In addition, each of the beneficiaries would be given access to toll fuel lines with a membership of a social media chat group created in each local government area for direct feedbacks as part of the monitoring and evaluation process of the Office of Civic Engagement. The program is being experimented so as to determine the best approach to the planning and implementation of the scheme statewide. In a World Health Organization report, over 600,000 maternal deaths and no less than 900,000 maternal near-miss cases occurred in Nigeria between 2005 and 2015. While in 2015 alone, the country's estimated maternal mortality ratio was over 800 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births, with approximately 58,000 maternal deaths. As good as the Mitch Initiative sounds, sustainability is key to achieving its set targets especially in reducing maternal and child mortality in Lagos. It goes without saying that government cannot do this alone. Continuity of the program would therefore be dependent on the financial, technical support and goodwill of donors, sponsors and volunteers in the coming days. <music>
till they give birth, I think it's a very good thing. And I hope the government can actually continue doing that. You know, it really helps a lot of people. It actually makes some children have hope because there are some children that are motherless today. Why? Because the parents cannot actually take care of them. And it looks like they don't have a bright future. So if the government can actually do that continually, you know, not just starting and at the end of the day, they just stop it. It will actually help Nigeria. It will actually create a future for the Nigeria youth as well. And thanks to the government for actually thinking of a way of helping the Nigeria women. With that, we've come to the end of today's edition of the program, Community Feedback. Join us again, same time, same station next week, for another interesting episode. In case you or anyone around you is playing any form of COVID-19 symptoms, please call the toll-free number 0800 Corona or 0800 Remember to achieve a break the Lagos between the two and I. My name is Yewan Dimo. Thank you.